Live from the game show capital on YouTube, MVG Productions, it's time for the all-new Cash Money Letter Perfect Game Show. This is Caesar's Challenge. And now your host, Brandon Scrum. Thank you all so much, and hello once again, one last time, folks. Welcome in to our Season 1 Championship Edition of Caesars Challenge right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could be here with us. Well, all season long, we've had our players scouring and trying to find the words that will win them some money and tonight one of them could possibly walk away with over a hundred thousand dollars in cash and prizes so let's meet our three players who are going to be playing in tonight's championship game starting first our overall top money winner of the season he's won himself a grand total of a hundred and sixty three thousand nine hundred dollars cash and prizes please welcome back mr scott michaels hey brandon welcome back scott Hey, thank you for having me. It's been a hot minute since you've had a chance to be on the show. You were like one of the, uh, I think you were the second one to actually retire this season, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yep. Had you been thinking about this championship game? How are you feeling going into tonight? It, it's one of those scenarios I've thought about for a while because I've I've beat Kevin. Kevin's beat Shep. Shadrick, Shadrick has beat me. We've all we all have like this beat triangle, and tonight's gonna just figure out who's gonna break the chain. So we're saying, we're, so we're you're saying we're playing rock paper scissors tonight, and we're trying to figure out who the person's gonna be who's gonna win it all. Yeah, hopefully, and I'm hoping that means me. Well, we'll see how it works out. Good luck to you, and good Thank luck you. to our second player, our second, who was our first retiree of the season. He won a grand total cash of prizes, $156,100. Please welcome back, Mr. Kevin Henry. Yeah, Seamus called me at the retirement home, said I had to come out of my room to show up for this one. Yeah, it's kind of needed for if you're wanting to consider yourself season champion here, sir. How are you feeling tonight? I'm doing well, thank you. You know, you're talking about uh, Scott being the second person to retire. I've got the first question of the game, Scott. Who was the first? You're looking at him. And that's the only gloating I get to do tonight. I see. So, yeah, excited to play as, as always, but glad to have you back here. Good luck to you. And good luck to our third contestant. We saw him fight his way and hold his spot in on our last episode, and he's back with us now. Grand total for the season, $100,300. Please welcome back Mr. Cedric Weatherspoon, Jr. Hello, hello to all. Now, Cedric, you already Cedric. you already had to sort of fight your way into the turn into our championship game here tonight. Do you think you got one more in you to possibly pull it all off and become season one champion? I'll put this in a wrap, and it'll be like this: All my life, I had to fight. That's what my life always has to be. If you want to be a bed man out of us three who's going to win, keep your eyes on me. Thank you. I got it. Dropping bars on us. Okay. Confidence. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Well, folks, I think we're in for a very good game on this one. So I wish best of luck to all three of you. Now, normally we would play for cash, but tonight... Those cash is simply going to be points because since the fact that you're all here in the championship game, you're all going to go home with more money than you probably would have won for this for the for the game tonight. Our third place player will take home an additional five thousand dollars on the season. Second place is going to take home ten thousand dollars, and whoever wins tonight with the most points will be our season one champion and will take home an additional fifty thousand dollars with a chance at a brand new car in our bonus round. It is a Nissan Armada worth over $66,000. We'll hear more about the details on the car here in just a little bit, but for right now, I say there's nothing left to do but get to the game, gentlemen. You ready? Well, that's ready. what we're here for. Let's do it. Makes sense to me. Let's start with our round one. We deal with seven-letter words, and here comes your first word right now. 
There it is, and our lucky slot is slot three worth an additional 500 points on this one. All right. Good luck to all three players as our championship begins with this first question. Monarch, Monday, or mountainous? The Spanish word Montana. Kevin. Monarch. That is incorrect. I'll finish the question. The Spanish word Scott. Mountain. The Spanish word Montana for which the state is named translate into which of the following mountainous is correct. Uh, got it on the board first. 100 points for you. Go ahead and choose a letter. The S. The S. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a lucky slot for 500 more. What's the word? Mystery. Mystery is correct. You got it. Good play, man. <laughs> Nicely done. Scott picks it up right away. He's get the early we with 1,200 points. All right, let's take a look at our next seven-letter word. There it is. Lucky slot this time. Slot seven here. Again, also worth 500. Here's your next question. Lorenzo, Marco, or Figaro? What's the name? Cedric? Figaro. Of the Barber of Seville. Figaro is correct. Let's go. Good guess there. 100 points for you. Go ahead and choose a letter. L for lover. L for lover. That's our lucky slot. For five or more, what's the word? Natural. Natural is correct. You got it. Well, Seamus, I need a drink, please. <laughs> like I said, the, we're, it's the best of the best right here on this one, folks, and you're definitely seeing it play out here in front of your eyes. Scott and Cedric both with 1,200. Kevin yet to get on the board, but plenty of time to catch up. We're going to go to round two in just a moment, but first, we have this short commercial message for you. Stay home, stay tuned. More of the season the Challenge Championship on its way right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Caesars Challenge. Here is our championship game, and we are seeing championship level play so far. Scott and Cedric both with 1,200 points apiece. Kevin yet to get on the board, but we can easily catch up here in round two as every correct answer is now worth 200, and each letter out of place when you uh, saw the word is worth 200. So let's keep that in mind as we look at our first eight-letter word for this round. There it is, and lucky slot is slot two. Again, worth $500 on this one. Here's your next question. The Hudson River, Route 66, or the Appalachian Trail? Which of the following runs from Georgia to Cedric? Route 66. That is incorrect. Which of the following runs from Georgia to Scott? The Appalachian Trail. Georgia to Maine is the Appalachian Trail. You are correct. Yeah. I can hear Kevin too, just like, come on, give me a, give me a, give me, a, give me. <laughs> Again, it's a fight for the buzzers tonight, Ooh. folks. But 200 for you, Scott. Go ahead and choose a letter. Um, uh, the R, I guess. The R. Five seconds. That's time. Jerry, George. Or Jack. Kevin. Just so I can buzz in, Jerry. Well, I'm glad your buzzer's working, but that is wrong. Is it George or Jack? What is the first name of the heavyweight boxing champ? Scott? George. No, I'm sorry. It is actually ah, Jack. Johnson. Full question is, what's the first name of the heavyweight boxing champion, Dempsey? It's Jack okay. Dempsey there. So, Cedric, you okay. automatically get the money. No, sorry. No, I thought it was the other one because it was the national, the African-American month. And nope. Like, it's your most sorry. All right. Then, That's fine. Cedric, you still got the money for it. Go ahead and choose a letter. Give me the A. The A. That's our lucky slot. 
for 500 more. What's the word? New Jack was one gangster. Gangster is correct. You got it. Very nice, sir. Well done. Another big payout for you. You're up to 3,100 now. All right. Let's continue our game by taking a look at our next eight-letter word. There it is. Lucky slot this time is slot seven, now worth $500 again. Here is your next question. Talking Tina, Wordy Wendy, or Chatty Kathy? Kevin. Chatty Kathy. Introduced in the 1960s, which of the following dolls speaks with the pull of a magic ring? Chatty Kathy is correct. Welcome to the game, Kevin. Gee, thanks. Here you go. 200 points for you. Go ahead and choose the letter. K, please. The K. Five seconds. Kindling. Kindling is correct. Very nice, sir. Well done. Get you on the board there. You're up to 1,600 points and currently in second place. A very tight game between all three players. Scott's got 1,400. Cedric's got 3,100. But before we continue on to round three, let's hear about that awesome car somebody could walk away with in our championship round of the Caesars Challenge. Conquer all of life's roads ahead in your brand new Nissan Armada. This SUV comes equipped with a 5.6-liter, 400-power V8 engine, 7-speed automatic transmission, 22-inch wheels, 17-square-foot-inch storage, and 8,500-pound towing capacity. The interior lets you live in pure luxury with its zero-gravity seats, giant 12.5-inch touchscreen display, dual-zone automatic climate control, and comfortable seating for eight. It's the Nissan Armada! This prize is worth $66,795. And that Nissan Armada could go to one of our three contestants tonight should they be able to beat Caesar's final challenge. But we'll see who's going to get the opportunity to play here in just a moment. But for right now, let's jump to round three. We're dealing with some nine-letter words. And here's your first one now. There it is. Lucky slot. It's slot one. Now worth a thousand more. And the lucky slot jackpot. Here is your next question. Next question. Cape, fjord, or Ikea? What's the name for a long, deep sea... In Scott? Fjord. A long, deep sea inlet with steep, rocky sides. A fjord is correct. Yes. Oh, man. Good job, Scott. 300 for you. Up to 1,700. Choose the letter. The S. The S. <laughs> Lucky slot for a thousand more. What's the word? It to be a schnitzel, ya. Yeah. Schnitzel is correct. How did you know oh, that? Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Nicely done, Scott. Up to fifty-one hundred dollars, uh, or fifty-one hundred points, I should say. I've been used to saying cash all season long. It's hard to change the points here in this one. All right. Um. Scott's got the lead, but still plenty of time left on the clock, so let's go to our next nine-letter word. There it is. Lucky slot. This time, slot four, again, worth 500 more. Here's your next question. Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, or John Adams? Which of these famous founding fathers is pictured... Cedric? Benjamin Franklin. Oh, boy. That is incorrect. Ingots. Which of these famous founding fathers is pictured on the $2 bill? Kevin. Mm. Oh, uh, Jefferson? That's not right. No, it is right. Oh. Yeah, Jefferson's yeah. on the $2 bill. No, that's... I'm sorry. I, I totally spaced. That's all right. The important thing is you gave me the right answer, and that's all that mattered here. So 300 more for you. Go ahead and choose a letter. T, please. The T. <laughs> Our lucky slot for 500 more. What's the word? The word is criticism. Criticism is correct. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. More money for you. Put you up to 4,800 points now. Look at this. A very close battle between all three of our players here. So we continue on with this next nine letter word. <laughs> There 
it is. Our lucky slot now. Slot seven, again, worth 500 more. Here's your next question. Italy, Japan, or Russia? In which country is the Gilbert and Sullivan... Scott. Russia. That is incorrect. Okay. In which country is the guilt? Kevin. Italy. That is also incorrect. Ah. In which country is the Gilbert and Sullivan operetta, the Mikado set? The correct answer is ah. Japan. And Cedric, you get the money. Yep. Okay. Mikado. Let me see if it capitalizes on it. 400. Go ahead and choose a letter. Can I get the I? I. The slot. For 500 more, what's the word? Scorching. Scorching is correct. Come on. I'm down, but I'm not out. There we go. Cedric picks up the money there, puts him up to 6,300 points. It is a battle. <laughs> Everybody right there, neck and neck with one another here. We got more time left, so let's continue on with our next nine letter word. There it is. Uh, and that horn means we are almost out of time for this one. It's going to come down to this. It's time for speed word. In a moment, I'll start up the machine here. Drop the letters in place one at a time. As soon as you think you know it, buzz in. If you're right, you'll get credit for the remainder of the word. If you're wrong, you're out, and the other two pl players will have a chance to steal it. Possibly for the championship right here. Let's, spe let's play speed word now. Kevin. Chameleon! Chameleon yeah. is correct! You got it! <laughs> and with that word oh there, Kevin, you are the season one champion! Congratulations! Oh, That's what's up! Oh. Oh, wow, what a battle! Oh. All I can say is that is probably the cleanest game of Caesar's Challenge I have seen played all season long, and I knew it would be a good one. Congratulations to you, Kevin. We'll talk to you here in Thank just, you. just a moment. Hell of a game, guys. Hell of a game, yeah. <laughs> I, oh. could just sit, I could just picture us all just sitting there just going at the button. <laughs> no, I know, because at least I, I had it when I saw the letters. It's like, it's all about who's going to buzz in first. And it's going to register. <laughs> God. It, it was there. And I said it was anybody's guess here. But um, I've got to say goodbye to two really good players who have played well all season long. All right. Cedric, you actually had more than Scott in that one, so you're going to be finishing in second place today, which is going to net you an additional $10,000 onto your winnings for the season, which means you'll leave us here on Caesars Challenge with a very respectable total of $110,300, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Did you have fun with us? Oh, man, dude. It, I had a blast. This, this this is the game where you're literally just looking at yourself like, oh, God, can you be quicker than your opponent? Can you outword them? Yeah. And basically, most folks, when uh, y'all watch this, it's you, you can see why we were the top three. You can see, man, I had a blast. Kevin, good luck to you, man. And Scott, GG to you, my brother. <laughs> Yeah, so speaking of Scott, there, Scott, you finished the third today, which will net you an additional $5,000 on your season run, which, again, is pretty good for what it for what it was, sir. You leave us here on the show with a grand total for the season of $168,900, sir. You enjoy your time Woo! here. Oh, yeah. Adrenaline is still going. I feel like can, I can headbutt a ram and win. <laughs> I would advise against that. That's going to cause serious head trauma, so don't do that. Oh, You're just going to hurt yourself. Just the, the rush of the final is still in there, and I mean, that was a hell of a game. And that was anybody's game at the end. It was just <laughs> who, who got the buzz in. Yep, and, but, and, hey. and it was, unfortunately, Kevin in this case. So congratulations to both of you. All, all played very well all season long. That's why you're the only three that managed to retire. But the man of the hour is the man who came from behind. Started out slow, finished strong, though. Kevin Henry, you are the season one champion of Caesars Challenge.
That's going to get you another $50,000 in cash, which brings your season total now up to $206,100. But are you ready to try to see if you can't take home that brand new car? Oh, anything at this point is icing on top of the cake. Let's go. Well, we shall see him try. He'll take on the final Caesars challenge of the season. Will he drive away in that Nissan Armada? Find out in just a moment as Caesars challenge continues. Welcome back to Caesars Challenge here with our Season 1 champion, Kevin Henry. $206,100, and now it is time for you to face off against the final Caesars Challenge of the season for that Nissan Armada, a $66,000 vehicle, sir. You know how this works. You've been here before. I'm just going to save myself the explanation and just wish you the best of luck. Let's take a look at the board. There are the letters in the word Caesars. Each of them has a number between one to five behind them. Pick one, and that's how many bonus letters you're going to get. Well, I would dedicate this to both Scott and Shredder, but there are two S's up there, and I can only pick one of them. So go right smack dab in the middle. The first S? Okay. The first S, and behind the first S we find... A three. Hey, that's my best. That's not that's bad. my best one. That's not bad. Where was that five at today? Don't be the other S. No, it was okay. Good. It was the R. I think yeah, R. The other S had the four behind it though. All right, you know how this works. Let's just hope that the letter gods are going to be nice to you, Seamus. Fire up that tumbler one last time, and let's play Caesar's challenge. That concerns me with that many X's up there. Okay. We have it. All right. Kevin, here are the nine letters in order that they came out of the machine. They are the following. S. N. D. C. H. U D H and A. You get to pick three letters to put in place. Which ones would you like? O M G. All right. None of those Give are up the there, by the way. <laughs> I want you to pick three more letters. All right, fine. Give me the D. Okay. The A and the C. Okay. All right, we'll drop those into place. You'll have 10 seconds to think about it, and then I'll come to you for your answer. Drop those letters into place, please. Time starts now. For that new car, Kevin, what's the word? I had one of these, baby. That's a dachshund. Give me that car. Dachshund is correct. You got it. Nice. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm great. Well done, sir. Congratulations. That car is yours. 
and you are driving away in that brand new Nissan Armada. Well done. Thank you very much. All right, folks, we're going to take one last commercial break. When we come back, we'll total up Kevin's winnings and give him a grand total and send it off for the season right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back, folks. That is all we have for today's episode and for our first season of Caesars Challenge. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. This one was a different game show for me to host because I remember watching it as a kid, but I never really got like super into it, probably because I didn't have much of a lexicon when I was younger. But as I've grown older, older and have went back and rewatched some of these episodes, this is a good show. Underrated, but good. And I've, I've had a lot of fun with this one. And I know Kevin's had a lot of fun with it, too, because he just picked himself up a Nissan Armada. And with totaling everything up, Kevin, your season one winnings as champion gives you a grand total for the season of $272,895. So congratulations. Thank you very much. What a run. Yeah. Any final <clears throat> thoughts from you? <clears throat> Uh, I tell you, this was an amazing show from the get-go. Uh, I used to love this show as a kid. I've always been big into word games. Uh, so for the fact that you brought this show to air, uh, I had to jump on this like the great, like a gravy train. And uh, I tell you, and not to toot my own horn here, but early on in this season, I um, <clears throat> was very proud to have um, come to the defense of this show by some critics. And uh, what made me the happiest about this is you've done the show, Brandon. You did it your way, uh, despite what others had said. And for those of you watching, you know who I'm talking about. This was a great production. Job well done. And now, Seamus, I think once we get off the air, I think we need to take all this apart and uh, put the Gold Rush set back up because, uh, you know, I got a job to do too, you know. But in the meantime, Brandon, great job, and thank you very much for having me. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. It has been a lot of fun. Uh, we might revisit this one some point down the road. I'm not sure yet, but, again, it's up to you guys in the comments. Let me know what you think. I uh, had fun with it, but for now... We're going to simply say goodbye, and I'm going to say thank you for supporting this series. Thank you for supporting the channel, because, again, can't do this without you guys at home. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. But in the meantime, between time, one last time, you guys at home are going to get a chance to solve some more words as we send you out for the season. And these guys here in the audience are actually going to guess along with you, too. So get ready for some random words that are going to be shouted out. And I will say we'll see you next time for more games and fun right here at MVG Projections. Till then, so long, everyone. All right, for those of you who have not heard this, this is how we solve five-letter words. And now my real talent comes out. Jason oh, yeah. loves to join us with this, so this is going to be fun. Get ready for the East. 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 That's yeah. easy. East. 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 Uh, hey. Mm-hmm. Nope. No. State. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, they don't have states in Jamaica, so you're forgiven. Next one. Buell. Buell. What the hell? There you go. There you go. Here we go. Next one. We got this one. Here we go. Live, li live line. <laughs> Sounds like a Hawaiian. Sounds like a Hawaiian word. Bill. 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 Shout out to Louisville. The Bill. That's what they call themselves. The Bill. Westmo. 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 The correct term is mouse. I believe. Oh yes. Squeak. Squeak. What else does? Exactly. We should start calling that. Rinto! 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 <laughs> North! Dorn! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Another direction! I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs>
I still don't. How, how, do you, how do you pronounce that? Or how do you pronounce Shalange. that word? Shalange? I like that. Shalange. Kaiser's Kaiser's Kaiser 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 I, I, I think I, I think this I think the A's are silent in that in that word. And it's Cesar. 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 Yeah, Cesar. Yeah, Cesar. 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 Yeah. All the A's are silent. Yeah. Yeah. Take take out all the vowels. <laughs> you do that, that turns into Grand Slam at that point, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, I like the wardrobe, ladies. Who are the engineers not in charge? See, that said engineers in charge. Who, I want to see the credit of engineers not in charge. This is your announcer, Michael Gentry, speaking for Caesars Challenge, an SBC Game Show's presentation in association with MVG Productions.